Good morning. My name is Mrs. Bailey, and we are here at Jackson Davis Elementary School. This is my fifth grade classroom. We're doing something new this year called STEAM Morning Stations. We're working on science, technology, engineering, art, and math. I have students working on discovery science, learning all about rocks. I have students um, working in the art station, building their own rock cycle. I also have students working in the engineering station, working on building bridges that will sustain an earthquake, as well as math and um, fun games to work on cooperation and leadership. Oh, I also would love to thank um, Donors Choose because they were um, able to help support my classroom this year, and they were able to donate lots of these wonderful things you see. All right, guys, so before you keep working on your rock cycle, one of the things I wanted to show you was the different types of rocks when we learned about them. And can you use an art supply to make those rocks look a certain way, okay? So when we talked about sedimentary rocks, remember how it talked about all the different rocks and sand pieces and pebbles coming together? So what would be some art pieces from the art center that you could use to maybe show that? I know you had a good idea for your sediments. What were your sediments? sediments so the little pom-poms? Okay, so how could you do a sediment rock out of those sediments? Okay, make like a good conglomerate. Okay, any other ideas? Mm -hmm. The cotton part of the Q-tip, like, and use just one or more than one. More than one. Okay, and then we have the igneous rock. Who can tell me how the igneous rock is made? Do you remember? Do you remember, Savannah? No. It's the lava that cools, right? And remember that word ignite. We talked about igneous meaning fire, right? So you're going to have, some of them had the holes in them um, because they were extrinsic on top of the earth, and then some were, were deeper and um, more um, condensed, right? So how could you make that? You said you were going to use tape. What type of tape were you going to use? Uh-oh, Ariel has an idea. Grab for it, girl. Okay, you could use the different types of tape to do that. Good. And then the last rock. So we did sedimentary, and we did igneous. What's the third rock? And what do those look like? Do you remember? What are metamorphic rocks? Okay. So make sure when you're making your um, rock cycle that you're using everything you know about those types of rocks, okay? I love your magma. That's really cool. Any questions? All right, keep working. All right, what are some ideas over here? How are you getting your bridges to stand? Uh-huh. Oh, so you're using like two toothpicks? Okay, so you're hoping that's going to be sturdier. Okay. Um, I, I really focus on my face more than the other side. Okay. Because I don't want to So how, where's your bridge coming from? Where are the cars going? Or the people walking? Where? On the top like. Oh, so that's still your bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, I would make like a larger base to help it be stronger and then like focus not as much on the top of the base. And then what did y'all do this morning before you got started? Because you were having trouble with ideas yesterday. We got on the computer and looked up some ideas for the bridge. Okay. And what did you learn? Mm -hmm. That there's all sorts of kinds of Okay, was that easier? Yes. 
And then what are you using to build your bridges? I'm um, using toothpicks and clay. Yeah. Clay, okay. And then we're gonna see what happens. Um, we're gonna like um, make like an earthquake somehow happen and see if like it will stand or like fall. Good, excellent. All right, are we gonna keep building? Yes. All right, did you do a plan first? Yes, yeah. What did you find, Ava? You were telling me something this morning. Um, that once I started, I'm gonna draw out my plan. Because what happened with your first plan? It didn't go so well. And is that okay? Yeah. Yes, because we can keep building and keep trying, right? All right. What are you doing over here, Mr. Eric? You're watching a volcano video? What are you learning? Um, that there, that there's different types of, um, different types of volcanoes, and they can have different types of um, things happening to them. Ah, very cool. What is a streak? Have you played with that yet? Play with that real quick. That's pretty cool. So it's what mark it makes on when you rub it. So we're going to get to actually do that with some rocks next week. Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. All right. What else have you done so far? I've done gathered and jumped mm -hmm. and the rocks. Did you watch the volcano video too? Yes. That, was that your favorite so far? Yes. What are you doing, Miss Elena? Oh, the volcano video is popular. Yes. What are you supposed to do while you're watching it? No, you can roll your mouse over. So roll your mouse. Oh, have you been doing that? And so you're learning about what type of rock is that? If it's coming from magma. So what are the three types of rock? We have igneous and sedimentary and metamorphic. Which one's made from lava or magma? The, ig the igneous, right? Good. All right, Miss Noel, what you doing? What are the shells? Cool. So that's a type of, of sedimentary rock? Oh, there's t different types of sedimentary rock? Yeah. There's also Okay, let's go. Very cool. So you're learning lots exploring today, huh? All right. All right, my crazy game group. What are you guys doing? What is this game? We're trying to like um, roll the dice, and like, each person rolls the dice, and like the color they get, they're supposed to put it on either one of these poles and try to balance it. Oh. So it's working on suspension. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. How are we doing so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. What did you notice happens when you put them all together? Um, this starts to, like, little, little shake. What happened with this guy? Oh. oh. Uh, yeah, I put it, yeah, I put it there. there. So we have more room for here. So we have more room. Oh, so this holds it better, but if you did more like this, yeah. it would make it harder or more yeah, challenging? Yeah, yeah. especially the yellow. Yeah, because there's not a lot of space on this So do you think you should try to make it more challenging now that you've gotten good at this? Yeah. Okay. All right, how's it going over here? Okay, Oh, look at your different rocks. Dante, let me scoop by you real quick. So why did you make that black? Because it's... It's, it's melted magma. And when it hardens, it turns black, so that's like basalt. Very cool. And then you have different types of rocks combined in your in your metamorphic. What's your sedimentary going to be? Um, I'm going to put like different kinds of um, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners in the rock like this one, but it's going to be different colors. So like to make the layers of the sediment? Yes. Very cool. What did you do over here? Or y'all are getting into the art stuff today. What type of rock is that going to be? Sedimentary, igneous, or metamorphic? Okay. So because it looks like it, it has the puffy holes in it. Okay. Good. Have you thought about your sedimentary rock or your metamorphic rock? No. And you're using pipe cleaners for your arrows? 
Don't forget to write in your processes, okay? See how she's doing melting? So make sure you write in those processes. And where's my example? Over right here. So don't forget, you can always use your example that's in your notebook, but I have a copy here, okay? All right. So thank you for visiting our classroom today at Jackson Davis Elementary School. Hopefully you got to see lots of exploration and creativeness through our STEM stations today. Go!